We have an unbelievably fun new project that we've been working on. See, uh, our shop, it didn't always look as cool as it did. Uh, just a few weeks ago, actually, it had white walls. Um, it wasn't that pretty. There wasn't a whole lot going on out there. But now we have actually taken a little bit of initiative in making sure that the showroom looks good. Part of that was finding things for the wall. Well, in my hunt of finding things for the wall that looked cool, I found that the Lego Technics were pretty cool, but they were absolutely outrageously expensive. Way more money than I wanted to spend on something like for a picture frame. So we got the idea of what if we make something like a Lego Technic where it's a formula car um, or a car, and then we put it on a picture frame on the wall. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. So right now we have our router hooked up and we have some plexiglass here on the table. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna router um, some holes on the plexiglass so that the picture frame that our uh, formula car is gonna be sitting in will be able to um, have a little mount that it sits on, hooks on, sits, and it looks beautiful, looks nice. We're using this because this will allow us to make sure that every single unit that we make um, in terms of production will be perfect. So I am setting up the stuff that we need to set up right now so that we can make that happen. Those are some nice holes. <laughs> Clean cuts. All right, let's put this thing together. If you're looking for something brand new to spruce up your man cave, we've just built the coolest wall art. We have Red Bull Formula One cars and also Ferrari Formula One cars, but we only have 15 of these in stock. So if you'd like one of them, text me right now at 702-246-2295 and we'll get one of these hung up in your man cave. So this is the car that we're going to hang up on here. And this is a test unit. This is very beta right here. This is, uh, you're seeing something not production, okay? We had to test a bunch of different ways. How do we get this car to hang on the poster uh, and still make it easy to access? Because this is actually an RC car. And every single one of these purchases, you get the RC car, you get the poster, of course, the way to hang it. But then you also get the remote control so you can still use the RC car. So the point of it was so that you can hang it and it'll look you know, cool on the wall, but then if you ever wanted to drive it, you could take it off and you can just uh, tear it up with your RC car. So this is our beta version right here. This was our test unit to basically see if we can make this work. One of the questions that we had, would the car basically pull off the, the plexi from here? We wanted to use glass, but the problem with glass is that you know, we can't drill holes through it. So we, um, you know, when we were in the middle of trying to figure out how can we make this work, how we make it happen, drilling holes through the plexi came up and that seemed to be the best uh, choice. So uh, the next problem we had, or the next uh, thing that we were wondering about was would the car be too heavy to where it would pull itself out of the plexi? And that does not seem to be the case. So this is a beta version. And just now you guys watched us clean up this one right here. And let's put this one together and see actually how it looks. This will be a production version, which is actually incredibly exciting because we've been working on this one for multiple weeks. We made a lot of mistakes on this. I had some silly little mounts that basically like held the car on from its wheels and that didn't work. And then Giselle came up with an idea of why don't we hook the car underneath it through the front wing, like use like a, a little clip that slides under the front wing. And that's the solution that we ended up going with because that was the best solution. So let's take the plastic off the plexi so it shines. You know, we first started doing this actually because we wanted wall art inside of here. And I just didn't want to pay the price. You can see everything's high quality. Bolts, nuts, everything's bolted together. A car's not gonna fall off. It's not gonna break in shipping. No way, Jose. We thought about every single piece of the process. I'm gonna use this poster because I don't want to ruin another poster for this just in case if I make a mistake. And by the way, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, you're like, I'm not a Ferrari fan. I don't want a Ferrari. Well, good news for you. We also have Red Bull. So only Red Bull and Ferrari. Unfortunately, the cars aren't offered in any other manufacturer or else I would have all 10 teams because it would be super cool even inside of our showroom to have all 10 teams. Okie dokie. So here is this one. We also, what's cool about the this one is it actually has a mat. So it has the right, the white mat. 
that sits behind it. And we've been using this, so it actually got damaged a little bit. But so it has the mat as well, which makes the photo even larger than it already is. Car here hooked up, and this is the final look for you guys. Think I personally love it, looks awesome, looks cool, looks clean, and it's easy to just unhook, play around with it, and then just hook it back on when you're done. Keep it out of your wife's way. <laughs>